Hello, my pinkies, and welcome back to another Plan With Me monthly video. This video will be for the month of March using my March monthly kit from my March mystery kit. And for those who just joined, welcome to my channel. And here I'm just indicating how you could use my March mystery kit or any of the monthly kit that I do create. It's been way too long since I've done a video or even upload a video. I think it was two weeks because I took almost a week and a half off on vacation and we went somewhere very magical. If you guys want to know where, I think I'll be telling you guys later on in the video. But if not, I am planning to upload a plan with me video after this one and I'll explain everything there. But let's get back on to our March monthly kit. Here I am just separating all my stickers. So this is our March monthly kit from my March mystery kit. And these are all the stickers that I need just to do the monthly kit. As you can see, there will be a few spread that is new to you and that I have not uploaded. And I'll explain why in my next plan with me video, which will be up after this video. Let's get planning! With my monthly kits, you always start off with the sidebar. So here I'm just showing you the options that you have with your kit. So it comes with five sidebar stickers and you can mix and match. Use them however you like for your daily needs or monthly needs. But the ones that you don't use, um, it will fit your weekly spread, so you could save them for your weekly spread too. Now the next step is to put in your blank box stickers. So these are the boxes that don't have dates on it and you could just fill them up with the stickers. And those who just joined may think, why are we doing this in steps or a specific step? The reason why is here I am showing you that my stickers are die cut stickers. They're not just your regular rectangle stickers. To lay down these die cut stickers, I created anchor corners, meaning that these corners will match up your corners of the boxes where it should go. I might sound like a broken record to you guys, but I cannot stress that because my stickers are die cut, please, please, please peel it delicately and slowly because they do protrude out. Finally, you could put on your title stickers, which is the March and the 2017 stickers on top. What I usually like to do next is put in the holiday stickers. Now I know with the Mambi Happy Planners, I think they do the print on the top next to the date. So I'm just gonna cover that with my holiday stickers because I don't need, you know, my sticker plus the print to remind me that, hey, this day is St. Patrick's Day or so on and so forth. So I'm just gonna cover it. Covering the dates is no biggie to me. I don't mind because I could always know what date it is by just looking and counting the calendar, right? And the Erin Condren Planner Monthly Planner also indicates the first day of spring, so I included that too. You could put it anywhere you like on that date. I decided to put it on top just to be a bit more uniform with my monthly view. After my holidays, I like to do block out dates or duration of events. The kit itself do come with washi stickers that you could block off certain dates for certain events. And another quick tip for those who just joined or never used my kit before, you could also use these washies as headers for your weekly spread. So I like to make my stickers usable for either monthly or weekly. Even if you don't have no use for it in the monthly spread, you can always use it for your weekly spread too. So here I am just blocking off the pre-sale date for my April mystery kit, which already is on pre-sale. <laughs> 
March 1st till the 12th. Um, this is the last weekend that it will run for pre-sale. Pre-sale with the mystery kit is that you do get the kits at a discount price plus free shipping. Anything after that date will be relisted at regular price and shipping will not be included. However, I don't know why I've said that because going forward I have decided to make the mystery kit as a monthly subscription. If you do want to know more about the changes, I will talk a bit more in my next video which is the plan with me video or I might just make a separate video talking about shop about the changes that will happen to my shop. And you know changes is always good because when there's a change there's always a sale or some kind of special promotion so so don't miss out on next video or the next next video it depends on how short of a time i have to edit these videos as i mentioned earlier that i did take a week and a half vacation we actually went to disney world we did leave last month and didn't get back till I think on Sunday so here I am just using a thin washi to indicate the days that we were away. I like to use different washies is because that I will not get confused of what's going on and each washi will indicate a certain event so it doesn't get too confusing well for myself. <laughs> So another major event in March is March break and here I am using a third washi, always thin. I don't know, I, I love thin washi more than thick washi. I think it's because I know March is gonna be busy for me and if I use a thicker washi, it might take up the whole space. I also like to stay within the color tone. So my first washi was gold, so I'm gonna use gold washi throughout just that it's you know, not too much color going on in my monthly view. Okay, so once the holidays are done and the events are all blocked off, next is my important date. So like doctor appointments or birth dates or, or important dates that I have to be there or attend. Next I do my garbage schedule because we do rotate garbage and recycling every bi-weekly. I like to know what I to put on the curb so I could prepare it the night before or the day of. And lastly my bill dues and paydays are next. My husband and I do have bi-weekly date nights which I think it's really important or it's very healthy to have date nights even if you have ch little children or old, a little bit older children because you do need that one-on-one -on -one adult time just to have an adult conversation without anybody interrupting. So we decided to do once every two weeks and that's why I think it's really important to have that. We also hired a cleaning lady to come to our house twice a month just to do a good deep clean of the house. Once all the important dates are down and I think mostly everything is down, I like to use my Hello March or Hello Monthly sticker and place them somewhere in my spread. But just looking at my monthly view, it seems just too crowded for this huge sticker. So I'm just going to save that for one of my weekly spread. With the mystery kit, you do get a sneak peek sticker and I like to use the sneak peek sticker in this little box here just to let me know what is expected for next month mystery kits. Now it's time to mark down everything. As you can see, I like to use a fine tip Sharpie pen to do that. And once that's done, let's put it back into the planner. also want to quickly show you the Erin Condren version. It's not a full layout. This is actually my mock-up of any mistakes during pre-cutting or any edit I have to do. And you could tell I do mark them what I need to do. But anyways, this is how the Erin Condren will look like. 
And this my pinkies, we are at the end. I hope you enjoy this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Happy planning. Bye.